I'm here at the gates of Orasanukturong, the home of the President of Ireland, and, uh, and Mary McAleese is a constitutional lawyer. Um, Her Excellency Mary McAleese is a constitutional lawyer, but more importantly, the previous incumbent, Mary Robinson, is back in Ireland, and Mary Robinson is a constitutional lawyer. What I'd like to put a question on your behalf to Mary Robinson is, are the three by-elections legal or illegal that they're not being held? Are the people of Donegal uh, being penalised for being the only county in Ireland not to vote for Lisbon? I'd also like to ask the question, um, why are the people of Donegal and the other two constituencies, Dublin and Waterford, why are they being penalised for 26,000 so many hundred per adult and still not being allowed to vote in a by-election? I call on Mary Robinson now to get involved in the, in the argument. It's very important that we need leadership on this question and, um, and I appeal on behalf of the people of Ireland and certainly on behalf of the 52,000 people that have gone on YouTube to get on board, rattle a few sabres and give us an answer. I'm at the gate lodge for the Oris and Octoron, the home of the President. It's a lovely little house. Much like all the gorgeous homes there are in Ireland, all of them owned by young people, all exploited by the banks, and almost all of those new houses in negative equity. The problem with their negative equity is that they don't have a NAMA bailout. Or do they? For example, if you bought a house for, for 320,000 and it's now worth 220,000, who takes the shortfall of the 100,000? I appeal to everybody in negative, negative equity, go to your solicitor, get a solicitor's letter, send it to your bank and to your building agents and tell them your house is now valued at 220,000 and that's what you're prepared to pay. Let NAMA work for you. It is your choice to state very much out loud that the 100,000 that the bankers are getting away with why should you pay it? It's very, very important that you arm yourself with information and go for it. Get angry and get involved. O'Connell, one of the great, great Irishmen buried in Glass Neville. O'Connell was symbolically very important to Ireland because O'Connell gave leadership when the country was on its knees. After the 1798 rebellion, O'Connell was there. Sadly, the famine wore him out, but this great famine memorial and a national memorial to O'Connell was a memorial to a leader that was loved by everybody. Ireland needs leadership now, and we are not getting it from the present administration. O'Connell called for pacifism, and I call for pacifism now, but passive resistance. As Gandhi walked to the ocean with salt, he got rid of an empire. He got rid of an empire by, quite literally, a very, very passive protest. I call on all young people, I call on all old people, I call on everybody in the country now that's living with this fiasco. We're bordering the IMF coming into Ireland, Look at O'Connell. Look at the people on their day. They hadn't a farthing to their names, but they had idealism. Let's call for this idealism now and demand in high office, high standards and high principles. It's not happening now, but keep voting. Hello, I'm here in Glasnevin Cemetery with the modernity of new building behind me all reflecting what was good about the Celtic Tiger and this incredible man, Ireland's first Minister of Finance. Collins fought for Ireland in two very clever ways. He had, an omel he had a gun in one hand and he had a ledger and a fountain pen in the other. Collins created the first loan for Ireland 
and fabulously he kept the war going. Um, look at the flowers here. This is a testament to a man who died in 1922 and uh, much loved today. Anytime I've come to this headstone, this very modest headstone for a very modest man, the big fella, uh, this place has been covered in flowers and it tells about the love we have for him. I come with a rose and a bay leaf. The rose, the last rose of summer, this is the last summer we're going to have before financial turmoil and confusion. The bay leaf is a Greek form of mourning and I'm mourning the past here. So the rose and the bay leaf I'm going to give to Michael Collins as my symbol, personal symbol, that we'll get through this. I know we'll get through this, but we need everybody to take a grip of our country again. This man pulled us away from empire and gave us a new ideal for Ireland. Nothing to do with the sleaze today, but my God, did he, did he impact on all our lives and all our souls. Um, Michael Collins, on behalf of the entire country, I apologize to your legacy for the state Fianna Fáil has left us in today. Hopefully new ideas will come out of this. I'd like to leave this with you. Michael, thank you, big man. Otherwise, all of your kids are going to be getting on these trains and getting out of Ireland. 